Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is a TBR for the Magical Readathon Owls Edition. So I've never done the Magical Readathon before. It's, this is the third year and so every year in the Magical Readathon it happens twice, pretty much twice a year and I think there's occasionally others. Um, but every year you take your owls and you take your newts. Now obviously this is Harry Potter themed. Um, owls, from what I can see, is you only have to read one book to gain each owls but when you take your newts you have to read multiple books to get better grades um, and each subject has a prompt and you can pick your career and go for the subjects that you want for the career um, so the subjects will tell you how many newts you need and what level of newts you need so you have to get your owls before you can get your newts anyway so I believe the owls are going up from uh, all the way through April I think I couldn't actually find the dates written down anywhere, but I think it's all the way through April. Um, it's run by Book Roast, who's a, uh, another booktuber. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to go fairly easy in my TBR um, because I've never done it before and because I'm worried about overloading myself once I get to the newts, um, which are more complicated to get. Um, for the career that you want. So this year, there's a whole careers guide on uh, magicalreadathon.com. I think it's it. I think it is. Anyway, this year I am picking the career of magical journalist or writer um, because it's pretty easy. So, so the so the newts that I need for magical uh, writer are Muggle Studies, History of Magic, and one other of my choice. Um, but the thing is. That's only three books so for the owls. So um, there are other seminars and lectures that you can take and extra training that you can take. And so um, I'm also going to attempt to get the owls to put me on the track for Animagus training, which requires transfiguration, arithmancy, and potions. So this is what my plan is. To get my owls for being a writer, I'm going to do... Muggle Studies, History and Transfiguration. And then if I have time, I'm trying, going to try and get my owls for Arithmancy and Potions. Um, and that should cover me off. So that's five books, which I will probably read many more of those books, books than that in April. But these books have to fit specific prompts to pass the exam. So here is my TBR. First up, History of Magic. The prompt is a book featuring... It's uh, Sorry, the prompt is... Uh, witch hunts and so it's a book featuring a witch or wizard. So for this I am going to try and read Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret uh, Rogerson. This is one of my um, Alcrate books um, that I haven't read yet. So technically there's a sorcerer in it rather than a wizard but sorcerer or wizard same I'm counting it. So essentially this is a book about magical libraries um, the main character is Elizabeth. She is has trained to be a librarian. She knows everything about all the magic in the library. And then she kind of gets blamed for something that happens magically. And the only person she can turn to is her mortal enemy, who is a sorcerer. And so she starts learning things about magic and about herself that has been hidden from her, her entire life. And adventures ensue. So that is going to be one of my book for History of Magic. So for Muggle Studies, the theme is a book from the perspective of a muggle, aka a contemporary book, which I am going to pick Eliza and Her Monsters by Frances Zappia. This is another Alcrate book that has been sitting on my shelf for ages and that I've been meaning to read because it sounds amazing, um, but it's contemporary. So it's about this girl who is a fan fiction writer and her, one of her uh, stories is what, like the most popular one in the fandom. It's huge. Um, and then she meets this guy at school, I think. She meets him online, I think. And then she also meets him at school. And she really likes him. But she doesn't want to reveal that she's actually this fan fiction writer. And then I think maybe it accidentally gets revealed. Um, and she has to deal with the fact that her online life and her real life are colliding. So that is Eliza and Her Monsters. I've heard some really good things about it. Um, and that is my Muggle Studies book for my Muggle Studies exam. So, Transfiguration. The theme is actually Animagus le Lecture, um, you know, which I actually want to study to be an Animagus. And so that is a book that includes shape-shifting. 
So I'm going to read Frog Kisser by Garth Nix. So this is essentially a retelling of uh, The Frog Prince. Um, and so, of course, there is a prince and he's turned into a frog and there's an awful lot of frogs that need to be kissed. So, I mean, it's not like, it's not shape-shifting in the whole like werewolf or animagus type thing, but it's a prince who is a frog and a frog who is a prince. I figure it counts. So that is Frog Kisser by Garth Nix. It sounds like a really, really fun read. That is my transfiguration book for my transfiguration exam. So the two extra books are actually quite short ones. Um, so for Arithmancy, the theme is the magical qualities of the number two, and that is opposites and balance. And so the idea is to read a book that is outside your usual genre, your favourite genre. So something that's outside your favourite genre. So I grabbed this off my TBR. It's called The Tulip Touch by Anne Fine. Um, I think it was a gift ages ago and I've just never gotten around to reading it because I'd never heard of it before. Um, and I get the impression it's a children's book. It's quite small, um, but it's also a thriller. And so I don't read a lot of children's books and I don't read a lot of thrillers because uh, thrillers aren't quite my thing. But back says, nobody wants to be around Tulip, but Natalie finds her exciting. At first, she doesn't care that other people are so upset by Tulip's bizarre games. But as the games become increasingly wild and sinister, Natalie realises that Tulip is going too far, much too far. So that's what makes me think it might be a bit of a thriller. Um, but for kids, um, I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't sound like it's my usual jam. So uh, that is my book for Arithmancy. So um, it's not very long. It's uh, like 160 pages or something, 170 pages. So it shouldn't take me long to read once I get to it. Um... And then the final subject that I am taking, uh, if I get to it, is potions. And this time around, the prompt for potions is Shrinking Solution, which is a book that's under 150 pages. So I picked, I don't have many at the moment on my TBR, so I picked Lumberjanes, Volume 7, A uh, Bird's Eye View. So this is a comic, um, you know me, I love the Lumberjanes, and it's like 120 something pages. So that is my text for my potions exam. And that is my TBR for the Owls Readathon for 2020. Let's see if I can get all five of those owls. I hope so. Um, yeah, so if you've read any of those books, comment down below and let me know what you thought of them, but don't spoil them for me. Um, yeah, and I will keep you updated during the month as to how I'm going with my owls. Um, so I will see you all again really soon. Bye.